Oh my gosh, you're here. Uh, of course I have to do a video on this topic. How could I not? It's about law of attraction, how to manifest anything you want. E equals MC squared. Because I was reading Einstein's biography by Walter Isaacson, one of my favorite biographers. I mean, this man has brought artistry and craft to writing biographies. It's, it, he makes it, he, he elevated it. Well, he introduced a thought experiment that Einstein used to explain the theory of relativity. And that was like this for me, because it explains to me the law of attraction and how we can manifest anything that we want. So let's get into it. First, this channel, this video for feminine energy biased beings. Yeah, so it's about law of attraction and manifestation and co-creation and getting what you want, but it's through the lens of feminine energy biased being. So if you align with that, if that is, sounds really cool, just the words themselves kind of like activate something in you, even if you don't know what that phrase means, then you might consider liking and subscribing to this channel. Yeah? Okay, now that that's out of the way, because you know, it, it, it supports me, it's very helpful for me, then I'd like to get into the topic. Here we go. The law of attraction, how to manifest what you want, E equals MC squared. So it has to be titled that way because the law of attraction is what's happening. Um, how to manifest what you want is what we're gonna learn today. And then E equals MC squared is how. So, E equals mc squared is the equation for the theory of relativity. The theory of relativity uh, was initially unveiled by Einstein in 1905. And the E is energy, capital E. M, lowercase m, is mass. And C is the letter we use to represent the constant for the speed of light. And, and so it's about how we relate to things in our world and our consciousness of time and space. And that is quite confusing. Energy is mass times light squared. And so Einstein, he gave a thought experiment and Einstein is a theoretical physicist and thought experiments were very essential to his work because he believed that experimental physics were limited by the human condition. And yet he used thought experiments. So replicating life in his mind to understand theoretical physics. Um, and so when asked, how do you explain the theory of relativity? He said, I want you to imagine a trampoline and I want you to think about the qualities of the trampoline surface. It's a, it's a membrane. It's semi, semi, semi porous. So barely tiny, tiny, tiny holes because it's that weaving of material. And I want you to imagine rolling a bowling ball across that trampoline and then rolling billiard balls after the bowling ball. Where are the billiard balls gonna go? This is not theoretical, this is pragmatic now. The billiard balls are going to follow the decline, the, the path towards the bowling ball. They might slow and stop on their way to the bowling ball, or they might um, stop at the bowling ball. But they're gonna go where that bowling ball is. That is theory of relativity. Where the mass is, the other things will go. But in this world where energy equals mass times speed, mass is energy. So mass and energy are interchangeable. Yeah? And so that bowling ball is the intention that we co-create. And why is it always co-created? Because it's us in conversation with the universe. And a lot of reasons why we don't manifest what we want is because our conversation is dissonant. We say to the universe, I want this, but I want this, but I am ready for this. I can't, I have got to have this. It's got to happen now. I'm not worthy enough. Do not give it to me. So the, so then what you're doing is you're essentially, um, rolling the bowling ball and then you're jumping up on the trampoline and you're moving it over here and you're moving it over here. So the billiard balls, they can't follow a path to the bowling ball because the bowling ball keeps getting moved. Okay, that's one thing to realize is that uh, it's gonna be really hard to manifest if you're contradicting yourself all the time in words, in actions, in beliefs, in thought, holistic contradiction, right? Mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual intuitive. Holistic contradiction. Not gonna manifest what you want. And then there's this other thing. Let's look at this trampoline surface and think about what's underneath it. 
If you've got grass and trees and shrubs and you haven't like really just gone through with a machete or a lawnmower and hacked that stuff down and, and cleared it and gotten rid of it, then you're not bouncing on a trampoline. You're bouncing on grass. You're not going anywhere because the grass is just holding the trampoline. It, 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 the trampoline is sitting on top of the grass. You're not going to jump very high. If you go to the Olympics, they don't have like, well, let's not say the Olympics. Let's say a trampoline castle. Yeah, there's wit. If you go to a trampoline palace, they don't have things under the trampolines. They have a void. They have space so that you can go down and up. And you can't go down if there's resistance called grass. And the lower you go on that trampoline, the deeper you go, the higher you fly. Yeah? But you're not flying anywhere if there's stuff underneath it. So, how to manifest what you want? Uh, roll the bowling ball and don't move it. How do you not move it? Be present. How can you be present? Have a life that you want. Oh, how do you create a life that you want? You manifest it. But how do you manifest? You create, you co-create intentions that you want in your life. How do you co-create intentions that you actually want? You get in alignment. How do you get in alignment? You go to stillness, go to mindfulness, go to gratitude. Find out what kind of being you are. If you're a feminine energy biased being, you stop saying yes, you start saying no. You start blessing what you intend. Where your gaze falls, that is so it is blessed. But if you're blessing things that you don't want, then you're getting what you don't want because you're manifesting all of it right now. Yeah? So, lots to do and not a lot to do at all, right? How does this feel? Does this feel possible for you? If it does, please let us know in the comments. I am a master manifester. I am ready to meet what I want at the vibration where it exists. I am that, or I am not in alignment, but I'm gonna start today. Begin, begin at the beginning. If you need help beginning, I've got this great PDF devoted just to that. Seven steps to great beginnings. Feel good to do great, oh my gosh, because we do it in gentleness. We are feminine energy biased beings, and so it is. I love you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.